to manipulate the trombone. So I'm going to start with the left hand. The left hand is actually what holds and balances the trombone the whole time. Okay, so most of the time when we hold the trombone, once the trombone's in our hand, we hold it. But once we lift it up, it's more about the hand, the trombone sitting in the palm of your hand, not necessarily a squeezing the trombone into our hand. Okay, so that's what I like to do. Take a, almost like a, an L shape or a rubber band gun. Okay, and that's the main shape we have. So you'll notice these fingers are in your palm. Okay, the finger, this finger is for the most part straight, and so is your thumb. Okay, so that actually ends up going on this portion of the trombone right here. Our thumb goes up, first finger goes over there by the mouthpiece, and our other fingers curl in underneath right below that slide brace. Okay? So now some people, this finger, it's way too far away and they just curl their finger in. There's nothing wrong with that. Either one is fine. There's no right or wrong with that. Just as long as when we go to practice lifting the instrument, we know that the trombone sits in the palm we're good. And you'll notice my thumb even will come over and it'll curl over this. That way it's, I'm gripping the trombone there. Okay. You want a decent amount of strength in this arm and this hand. So as we lift the trombone, you push the elbow out. And most of the weight is actually in the forearm or some part of the bicep in the elbow. Okay. So we just lift the instrument and notice I'm not moving. The instrument's staying right where it is. Okay. We don't want to lift the instrument and come to the trombone. We stand nice and tall. We sit nice and tall and we bring the instrument to us. Okay, so the next thing is, is what do we do with our right hand to move the slide? Okay, so I like to think of myself almost like I'm an Italian in a movie. I'm making food. So I take my thumb, my first finger, second finger, and I say, that's a spicy meatball. And I let my hand relax just like that. The reason is we want the slide to be activated by the wrist. The wrist has a lot more fluidity in, in its motion rather than our arm. We have to use our whole arm to make the trombone work. It's very rigid and it doesn't have the sound or the feeling we want. So when we do that spicy meatball, we get that nice, smooth, relax. And notice I can use my wrist and my arm at the same time. If I just do this, I really don't have much control over my wrist. If I do this, I can control both all three parts of my arm, whether it's the shoulder, the elbow, or the wrist. So when we put our instrument up, we've got that. Now how do we move the slide? So where do we grab the slide? So we have the slide portion right here. This is, oh. So we have the slide portion right here. Okay, you'll notice there's usually a slide lock right here. So I will actually grab the trombone down here by, by my pinky with all those fingers. My other two fingers, Either will go underneath the slide like this, or they'll just stay in my hand. Okay, and then I'll relax, I'll undo that slide lock, and I keep my thumb on it the whole time. That way I always have full control over the slide. So when I go up, place the instrument up, fingers grab the slide, and then I can move the instrument however I need to play. So when you play the trombone, it doesn't have to be necessarily straight out. Some people find this very comfortable, some people and most of my students will play at a slightly downward angle. As long as the head isn't moving drastically, it's in a nice relaxed place, it will be fine either way. So left hand rubber band gun, fingers can either be underneath or straight to the mouthpiece. Spicy meatball, thumb, two fingers, the other fingers just stay in your hand or underneath the slide. And that's how we hold and manipulate the trombone. Bye.